Hi everyone, thank you for watching this recorded video. Today's tech tutorial is all about different resources and databases that we have at our library that support small business. So before we get started, I just wanted to quickly cover what we'll be discussing in this video. So first we're going to be talking about how to actually access these different resources from our library website. And then we're going to be exploring four different resources from our website. So that's going to be legal forms, small business reference center, A to Z database, and LinkedIn learning. So to access these resources, you're going to visit our library website, which is www.cedarhilllibrary.org. We'll click digital resources or education research resources on the left side of the page. And then you will be able to see each of those different resources from there. So the first one we're going to be talking about today is called Legal Forms. It's free with your library card and it's actually accessible through our texture databases. Um, so we'll be walking through how you actually access it from the website in a few minutes. Um, but I just wanted to give you some basic understanding of what Legal Forms is. Basically, it provides a wide selection of Texas specific legal forms, as well as forms from other states as well. Um, so it's a great resource as you are starting out to find, you know, accurate legal information and documents that you can use. So let's take a look at how that goes. All right, so I'm here at our library website. And I'm just going to click on education and research resources here on the left side of the page. And now you'll see this little blurb here about texture databases, which has some more information about how you can access this virtual library and all the details. Um, we have a whole recorded video that is all about texture databases. So I recommend if you're interested in this to take a look at that. So I'll click on this link and then the legal forms is actually underneath this, uh, here under most popular, and we'll click on legal forms. I'm actually already signed into the library's account already. Um, but if you are going in from home, uh, once you click on legal forms, it's going to ask you for the library's information. So you'll just choose our libraries, so it'll be Wiley Public Library. And then you'll also be asked to put in the texture database password, which is TX75104. All right, so I'm here in legal forms and you can see that it already knows that I'm from Texas. So it's already pulled up those specific types of forms for me. Um, you can see on the left, there are some helpful different um, links that I can use if I'm trying to look for tax forms or if I need to, you know, um, look up a different attorneys that has this information here. And then you'll see down here in the middle of the page, all the different categories that are available. And so you can see small business is its own category, which we can click on. And they've basically gathered all of the different forms that could be applicable to you. Um, so we have things about operations, human resources, different things like that. So we can just click on any of the areas that look good to you or what you wanted to get a form for. So we'll just go back here and we will do bill of sale. All right, so you can see there are some different categories here or types of forms. So we can just click on the form that I'm looking for. You can see there's two different download formats that I can do. So I can just do one version. It's gonna download that for me here on my computer. I can even see a description about what that form has, as well as a preview to just make sure that this is you know, the right form that I was looking for. Since it lets me open this up in Word, I can also then edit those documents as well. Um, so instead of, you know, having these different blanks, I can put in my specific information for my business and have these forms fit what I need. Yeah, so you can see that there's just a ton of different types of forms that are available here for all different needs. Um, so this is a great resource for you if you have a small business. I know that, you know, oftentimes people look at Google and they're just doing kind of a search to find different types of legal forms. And you don't always know how accurate those things are when you find it on the internet. So when you're using an actual database like this through the library, this can be really helpful because you know that this is accurate information that is correct. So you don't have to, you know, end up having to do something over and over again because you have the right documents the first time. 
So just a really helpful resource when you're starting out. All right, the second resource that I wanted to point out is called Small Business Reference Center. It's also free with your library card and through TechShare databases. So basically Small Business Reference Center has different DIY guides that are available along with videos, eBooks, and other types of instructive material that you can use. So this is kind of like a one-stop shop when you are first starting out with you know, starting your business. There's a lot of different things that you might need to do and it can be very overwhelming. So this is a good place to go because it kind of helps you make sure you've covered all your bases. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so I'm here on the library website again. We're gonna click on education and research resources and go back into TechShare again. This time I'm gonna click on resources A to Z and then you can just choose the letter of the alphabet you're going to, which is S. And here, Small Business Reference Center. So we'll just click on that. And right away, you'll see that there's a lot of different helpful tools that'll help you be able to look up information. Um, so the first thing I wanted to point out is this nice little search bar because you can search all of the resources they have in there, whether that's a book or a journal or a video, you can see something specific. Um, just you know, type in whatever keywords you're looking for. Then we have these different categories. So it just kind of organizes the different resources that way. So business areas, talks about you know, the different um, parts of a business, whether that's accounting or legal or you know, dealing with employees. Um, you can click on that and it will give you some different resources for that. So some things that can be helpful as you're needing to plan for that. Industry information by small business type basically has the information for specific types of businesses. So if you're doing something like a home business or landscaping or something like that, you can click on the resources there and it has information geared towards that. Business basics is also a great category. It has all the different topics that you might come across. It has different resources. And then if you are starting a business, then I would recommend using this startup kit and business plan section first because it just really has all the information that you'll want to use when you're first beginning. So, you know, this is a little kit here. It has all these different types of worksheets and forms that you can use as you're trying to, you know, plan for your business. Um, anything about business plans is always helpful. So this is like strategies as you're writing your business plan. They even have some different sample business plans that you can look at. So that can be helpful, especially as you're trying to figure out, you know, if you're trying to do a certain type of business, it might be helpful to see other business plans that are similar. And then down here at the bottom, there's also these popular sources. And these are actually eBooks that are available. You can see this is like a whole book is in here, which is great. I also wanted to highlight that there is this startup information little section here. Um, so you can look at state-specific resources just by clicking Browse by State. So you can go to Texas, and then you'll see that there is this whole PDF that you can use that has all kinds of information from here. So really useful. All right, and then the third resource I wanted to highlight is called A to Z Database. It's an online database that's free with your library card, and it's a great resource, especially when you're trying to generate new customer lists, research different competition in your area, or other types of businesses that might be nearby that you could maybe partner with. All right, so I'm back here at the library website, and this time we're going to education and research resources, and we'll click on careers, business, and investment, and then you'll see this nice link here for A to Z databases. So when you're accessing this from home, you're gonna first choose your library and then enter your library card information. All right, so we're here on the main page of A to Z databases. And I did wanna mention that there are a lot of different things that you can do just within here. So um, you can find specific businesses over here through this search and find specific people's information here as well. Um, so what we could do here is, you know, we can look at an advanced search for finding a business. And we could just even look at, you know, if you have a specific area that you're looking for. So like, let's say a radius around a certain address. So like if you know your specific address, so we'll just do 
the libraries. And let's say we wanted to find anything within, I don't know, 10 miles. Actually, let's do all this. And then once you have um, that selected, you can choose what type of records that you want to look for. Um, so you could do things that have maybe a de deliverable address, like if you're doing this for a mailing list, like let's say you're trying to find residential areas, um, like houses that you can send flyers to or so on. You can choose that. And then you could even do what type of thing you're looking for. Let's say this is for businesses that are nearby to see maybe other competitors. So let's say that I have something for retail. All right. And now I have this whole list of different different businesses that are also in the same industry as me that are nearby. So this is a good way for me to tell, okay, uh, these are my competitors. What do they have? You could also find specific people through this advanced search. Like I was saying, uh, let's say that I wanted to find all the residents that are kind of near um, the address I'm looking for. So let's say I wanted to look at something close to the library and then we can do it based on even specifics about who might be interested in something that my business might be geared towards. I can see other types of household information that might have come from the census, their age or gender if that's reported and all of that. So really helpful information as you're trying to kind of hone down any of the mailing information. All right, so that's how I did any of the advanced searches up here at the top. They have these kind of already pre-made for you down here at the bottom with these mailing lists, sales leads, or emails. Um, so you can look at types of business, um, any new businesses that might have come into the area, residents that are in your radius, or even just people that moved in that are new homeowners in your area, which this is a great way to get new customers to come to your business. So A to Z databases has a couple of helpful tools up here at the top that I just wanted to mention. First, once you have actually set up an account here, it will let you save searches with your library card information. So if you're you know, working on this, you can download this information, you can save the search, especially if it's been a helpful one. Um, and you could even like pull it every once in a while because you know that information is going to update as new things get added in. Um, so that might be something to keep. There's also some different videos in here that kind of teach you about how to use A to Z databases and how to get different types of sales leads and things like that here. And then there's even a reference desk that has a training center that you can use. So lots of good support tools built in as well. Okay, so our last resource that I wanted to highlight is called LinkedIn Learning. And we actually have a whole video on our channel that goes into a lot of detail about how to actually set up an account in LinkedIn Learning, how to use some of the different courses that are in there and how to navigate through. So I would recommend if you're interested in learning more I and mean, this seems interesting to you to just check out that video because it does go into a lot of detail. So LinkedIn Learning is basically an online learning platform that lets you access thousands of business, creative, and technology courses. And best of all, it's free with your library card, just like all the other resources we've talked about. So I wanted to mention this one specifically because this is a great tool for you as you're trying to upskill yourself and any of the employees on your team. Um, when you're a small business, there's not a whole lot of time uh, that you have or resources that you have to be able to you know, get trainings and things like that. Um, that usually costs a lot of money, but with LinkedIn Learning through your library card, that's all free. Um, so you can learn some different useful skills that you can bring back to your business. So to access LinkedIn Learning, we're going to go to the library website. And we actually built a button right here on the main page for you so you can easily access. So we're just going to click LinkedIn Learning right here. And that is going to take you to this web page where you can get started. And it'll basically ask for your library card number and then the PIN. So the PIN is usually going to be the last four digits of your phone number, unless you've changed that at some point. Um, if you are confused about that at all, you can always call the library and someone at the front desk can help you get that either reset for you or so on. All right, so the first time you're in LinkedIn Learning, it's going to give you this little um, quiz that'll let you personalize your learning experience. And this basically lets you choose what types of topics you're interested in. So now I'm on my main page here. Because I did choose some different things, 
it's already pulling up some different things that might apply to me. So these are all different things with marketing and anything that I've worked on will appear here. So I can just jump right back into what I've worked on. Uh, but the biggest thing I wanted to show you most of all was this browse option up here at the top, because this shows you all of the courses that are available in LinkedIn Learning that you can actually access. So you can see we have a wide variety of different things that you can learn. So if one of the areas that you're weakest at right now is marketing, you can do, you know, small business marketing, and it shows you all the different courses that you can do. And you can see some of these are not too long, like this is just an hour. So that's a business example. Um, we also have things in creative and technology as well. Um, so if you're like interested in graphic design or that's something that you wanted to add into your small business, you could, you know, do some courses on that. Um, web design is something that a lot of small business owners have to deal with. So that might be something to uh, incorporate. All right. So I've just clicked on anything that went under small business. Um, so let's say, for example, I wanted to do this become a small business owner learning path. So a learning path is different than a course because it's not just one chunk. A learning path actually makes is made up of a bunch of different courses that you can follow. They have a whole list of different ones that you can watch. So you can kind of start from the beginning and go through. As you're working through this, you'll see- My personal elevator pitch. So you can see this is um, the course has started. You can watch the video. It has information about the instructor, any certificates that are attached and so on. You can take notes and you can even see a transcript here as well. So a lot of helpful tools as you're doing that learning. All right, and that's LinkedIn Learning in a nutshell. Again, I go into a lot more detail about this in our other video on our channel. So if you're interested in this program, I definitely recommend taking a look at that video. All right, so that was everything that I wanted to share about any resources that we have for small business on our databases. Thank you for watching. I also wanted to mention that we do have some helpful resources here. Um, I'll make sure to put that link in the description box, but that's basically just more information about LinkedIn Learning and how to build your skills through there. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be on the lookout for any additional videos that we're adding to our tech tutorials playlist. Thanks again.